So in the last tutorial video, I showed you how to spice up your maps a bit by adding some terrain texture like this. And now in this next tutorial, I want to show you how to do the same, but this time by adding some bathymetry. Bathymetry is basically the changing texture on maps to indicate the depth of the water. So you can see this example I've got on the screen here. That's without bathymetry. And then this here is with bathymetry. So first of all, we're going to go to this website called Mapbox. I already have an account, but if you don't have one, you're going to have to create one. So once we've got a Mapbox account, we're going to come over here to create map in studio. And we're going to hit create a new style from a classic template. And I think it's best just to select outdoors, customize outdoors. Next, we need to come over to here to global. And in order to get this to work in GeoLayers, we need to change the projection to Makata. There we go. Now, is what we're going to do is we're going to go down this list of layers and we're going to basically hide all of them apart from one which is called land and water. And then with land and water, we're going to go into it and we're going to shine all individual layers within it individually apart from one which is land. We're then going to go into this land layer, we're going to select its colour and we're going to turn it into a dark red colour. Now, so what we're going to do is we're going to come up to the left to this blue plus. We're going to select custom layer. And from the drop down, we're going to select that one there called bathymetry. And then underneath it, we're going to select depth. And that will drop it on as a new layer there. So we're going to click into this now. Then once we're within this layer, we're going to come over here to style across data range. And we're going to select minimum depth. Then we're going to select a colour for this one. Now I found one earlier, which I'm just going to type in, which I thought worked quite well. 217, um, 79, 80. Yeah, so that's given this nice sort of bluey grey colour. Then is what we're going to do is we're going to take this number, we're going to copy it, and we're going to come over to 7000 there. We're going to paste it in. And now it's the exact same colour, so you can't see the depth. This is representing the deeper water. So we're just going to drag this down to give a slightly darker colour. There we go. That looks really nice. Now, of course, I'm doing blue here, but you can do whatever you want. You can do some sort of dark greys and blacks or whatever you choose, really. And then to bring this into GeoLays is what we're going to do is we're going to come up to the top right corner and we're going to hit publish. Publish again. And then we're going to go over to share. Click third party. Select Carto from the drop down. We're going to copy the link and then we're going to hop back over into GeoLayers and then we're going to create a new map style. Now, is what we want to do is under Link View, we want to make sure that this is linked to that previous light map comp that we would have made earlier. I'm going to go next. We're going to hit plus and then within here, we're going to paste in that link and it's going to give us this nice bathymetry data there and we're going to hit apply and create. Once that's in, come up to the top and hit finalize. Now we've got this nice bathymetry data, but we've still got these red countries in. So how are we going to get rid of this? We're going to use an effect called key light. So we're going to grab that and then we're just going to get the color dropper tool, select that and it will cut the countries out. And there we go. That's how you add bathymetry to any map. If you've got any questions, please do just pop them down in the comments. And I'm also selling my map animations. So if you want to talk to me about any projects, then please do just fill out the Google form down in the description. Thanks.